What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I'm about to drone on and on. So, full on in depth review of everything here you see will be coming soon, but this is just going to be an unboxing because I want to get a little airtime on it, but I want to unbox this bad boy right now because I'm super stoked. So, I'll tell you what, came in two boxes, two separate shippings, came on the same day via UPS. Uh, this and the accessories were in one box and then this pro case was in another box so we'll get to that but here is the drone itself i just cut it open and true unboxing this is how it comes wrapped in a little paper and here is here is the piece that i've been waiting for they do build them manufacture them right here in the good old us of a in california i believe and first of all Ooh, look, look at this, okay? Uh, here it comes with a little letter. We are incredibly excited to have you as a SkyDO2 customer. Yes, I am excited as well. Thanks, Adam. And here's the case that it comes in. You can see here, it actually has a sh shoulder strap. Shoulder strap, can you say that as quickly? And it's pretty nice. I'm kind of on the wide angle here. And everything about this seems pretty decent quality. Kind of about an inch and a quarter inch nylon strap there. And hard-sided case and so if you're going to just get the drone without any accessories it's pretty nice and the Skydio logo on there and well I'm gonna have to cut this little tag up this little there we go cut that off it does make it nice and easy to uh take with you in fact this case kind of worries me a little bit because of how big it is but we'll get there Woo! <laughs> yeah baby as you can see here, we have foam in here, some cutouts where the uh, pr props will go. And then we have a nice cutout down here of the drone itself. And what we get here is, this looks like the battery, removed before flight. Oh, I don't know, you love hearing that? And looks like we've got some plastic wrapped around it. I guess that was the way to do it. Not the brute force, you can see the battery here. It's kind of nice, held in with magnets connectors right there uh hard plastic there's a little bit of the rubberized undercoating right there a light right there which will be on the front end as you can see there's no plug to plug this in you actually have to charge it in the drone itself or get the secondary charger which i didn't get and i'm kind of regretting that but i think getting the accessories is going to be a little easier than everything else now here is the charging block that it comes with and so i'm not sure if it's power delivery but it should be pretty powerful Oh, I'm trying to see if it says there. Uh, three amp. USB-C. Two USB-C. So pretty nice little power brick right there. It also comes with this little foam case, which fits right there because this is also another battery um, holder, typically. So if you have two batteries, you can put them both in here. Now, what I noticed is that we've got some extra props right here. So we get an extra set of props. And uh, those are nice to have. Um, but it would have probably been nice that I could have put a controller or the beacon in here. It just doesn't seem like there's enough real estate. If you have a microfiber cloth, you're going to want to keep all your little cameras clean. And then we do have the USB-C cable right here. And that's what you're going to use to charge it up. And then here is the drone. Looks like uh, I get the information that you need to connect this guy on there i'm gonna move that and then here's the drone itself i'm so stoked uh wow it's pretty light i've never really had a i don't know what you would call it a premium drone before they have kind of two housings this blue and this black i like the look you can see here we have the props that kind of straighten out with centrifugal force the rear ones are on the top, the front ones are on the bottom. Kind of flip it over there. Another remove before flight. This uh, little piece right here, I think, is keeping the gimbal and the camera, which will move side to side and then up and down. And that'll give you 4K 60 frames per second. I know the sensor isn't as big as some of the Mavics, but that isn't the point. My point of really getting this is that, man, it would do autonomous flying track me. There's so many times that I want to have action shots of what I'm doing. Some awesome places that I've gone to. Want to share them with everyone. Grab some 
video for posterity's sake, and it's really hard to do. And I didn't want myself in the shot holding a controller looking up at the drone, right? You can see here on the bottom, this is where the SD card will go. I ordered that separately. You can order it from Skydio, but uh, I just got my own. Hopefully it'll work. U3 and higher, so it needs a pretty big, pretty quick transfer rate. And then you can see here, try not to do anything silly with it. Oh, look at that. If I hit this button, looks like I get a charge indicator. And then this will go in here. Ooh. And as you can see, that is in there nice and solidly. Now, to charge this, uh, oh, there, I guess there is the charging port right on top. Man, this is a great looking, great looking drone. It's nice and small. I like the fact that it fits in this little case. You can see these 360 cameras, three of them on the top and three of them on the bottom. That's how it kind of maps the world. No LiDAR or anything like that. So like I said, I'm gonna get that sucker charged up. Now let's take a look at some of the accessories that it comes with. And I will say here too that uh, as far as I know, there was a firmware update already. And so you download the Skydio 2 app from the App Store. There's actually a separate app for the Skydio 1, R1. And so you'll want to connect it to your drone and get that set up. Now, we do have the controller here. It's my understanding, and I haven't had controllers prior, that this is the same physical controller as the Amalfi controller. It is programmed specifically for the Skydio, so not interchangeable. Uh, if you have one for the Amalfi, which or I guess that's the name of the controller, not gonna work for here. But looks exactly the same, which I do like the fact that they're trying to save you some money by kind of reusing some hardware without reinventing everything. Kind of cheapest hardware, feels like an RC car, but you have uh, controls here and I actually don't even know how to use it. And then you have kind of finger switches up here and buttons. Here's the flip out, I think, for holding your, in my case, iPhone. So you put it in there. Then I'm not sure, I think that's probably the antenna. This thing is supposed to give you like a mile of range. You can see a little LED light right there. And really comfortable in the hand. It's nice and chunky, so you're not putting a death grip on it. <laughs> Feels very much like a video game controller. So we get that right in there. Looks like maybe cordage. All right, so we get a USB-C to lightning cable right there. So um, I'm guessing maybe you have to, I don't know if you have to physically plug in your phone to the controller, you might. So you get USB-C, dual end, and then you can see lightning USB-C right there. So there's the USB-C plug. So I guess maybe you would plug that directly into it. And then paperwork there. Um, I'm not gonna show you the second battery. That is right here. I did order another one because, you know, 20 plus minutes of flying time, you're out shooting some footage and you wanna get some more while you're out there. It's gonna be a lot easier to have a second battery. Now this is the beacon. And this is something that I was really excited about. I don't know how innovative this is in the drone world, but it certainly seemed like a no brainer to me. It's a way to control the drone over long distances. You can see the buttons here, uh, plus minus. This looks like some directional and this looks like the power button, I guess that's Skydio logo. So the no brainer to me is that it's really small. You can actually point to control it. It works over long ranges. It also has a GPS locator in it. So even if your Skydio can't track you visually, it'll track this and kind of catch up with you. So that's kind of the nice thing. I've seen a lot of guys test the Skydio tracking and then it loses you because it's trying to navigate around a tree. And then if it can't find you, if you go keep going on, you know, especially if you're on a bike or walking or on a motorcycle or something like that, you might be like, where's the drone? And have to back up and find it. And this one, once it breaks free, I think will kind of hunt you down. So that's kind of nice. And then you can control it. And again, it's really small. So if you're shooting video of yourself, you know, with you and your friends and whatnot, and you have this in your hand, you can almost hide it in, in some ways, as opposed to having a big controller like this. You know, I've seen lots of drone videos with guys that uh, are obviously controlling the drone. So that's pretty nice. Now, I will say it's a little big. It's about the size of like a Roku remote. I don't know if you can hold this to turn it off. Um, but it's it's nice. It's It feels good in the hand. Plasticky. You can see the 
USB-C plug on that side to charge it. Looks like we have a little loop for a lanyard. And uh, I was kind of wondering how big this would be. It's kind of like a TV remote. All right, so, man, probably rambling a little bit here, but I'm stoked. Now let's take a look at this case. Now you can actually upgrade to, I think the pro kit is what they called it, but I wanted this case because I obviously got some of these accessories and I want to take it around with me. Now, one thing I will say, it's really nice. It's kind of like a hard side polyester plastic case, kind of like a Pelican case, something for firearm, camera gear, audio visual equipment. So I think it's gonna be really nice to be able to protect this. You even have a little air release, looks like down here. So, you know, it can happen when you're going to elevation see how nice it is we've got some really big reinforcement pieces here when you put it on the ground now the problem with this is, is it's pretty thick and pretty large it does have a nice handle on it with rubberized texture but uh this is going to be a pretty big case to put in a day pack i almost kind of wish it had some backpack straps on it already that i could kind of tighten down against it or loosen up so that i could wear it like a backpack now, I have plenty of day packs that this will fit in, but what I realize is that for most day packs that you take hiking, which is kind of where I would expect you to take this, it would either fill up the whole thing, it'll, you'll have to have like a 35 liter pack, and you won't be able to take anything else, or, you know, you're going to need like a, a full size backpack, and that's probably going to be just a little too much, it's going to look a little crazy if you're going to do a quick day trip. Now, we do have egg shell foam on the top, and down here we have the Skydio, looks like precision laser cut foam. What I like is that it's a kind of dual layer here with the Skydio blue. This little piece was floating around. I'm assuming it was cut out of here, kind of hold this space. I'm actually not even sure what that is for, but I'm just gonna put it back in there. Now, some people are kind of wondering what the dimension is of this interior foam because can it go into another case? Can you put it in a backpack? It's basically, 14 and three quarters inches wide, and then depth front to back, 10 and a half inches. And then I'm not sure exactly how deep, but at least three and a half inches deep, not including the foam up here at the top. So you've got all that going on. Now, I do wanna show you here, if I can, what this is gonna look like if you put this all back in here. Be careful with those props, all right? So I got the Skydio in there. I can take the beacon, throw it in here, looks like. I can take the controller and put it here, it looks like. Um, I've even got places for the charger, uh, probably the, I'm assuming the cable goes over here. Uh, you know, I actually have the battery on the Skydio right now. So I'm gonna take the second battery that I have and that looks like it goes right there. So with the battery on the Skydio, you can put at least one, two, three more right here. And uh, I'm not sure what some of these other pieces are. I think either here or here is kind of that dual battery charger. So they do have kind of a separate charger where you can charge two batteries separately. Um, and so, and then I guess I don't know what exactly goes here, but then the nice thing is you can take this whole thing with you And that's really what I want. I want to be able to kind of grab the beacon or the remote and the drone Take it along with me kind of go out explore the world You know be active without having to worry about damaging the drone. So that's pretty cool I can take it all right here. And you can see that is one serious case There we go lock that sucker down you could actually put some locks right here we have some kind of metal tabs so you could actually lock this up so you don't have to worry about it but man i'm stoked i am stoked about this uh, you know having kind of a premium drone has always been something i've wanted to do and i have been waiting for ones to get really good shots of me you know uh, even the products that i buy that i share with you you know if i get some shots of me using them outside and obviously not trying to find someone or recruit someone to shoot some video with me, you know, this is going to be a great way to do it. Now, I will tell you what, if you want to pick this up, I think it's also a great deal. The drone itself is only like $999, which makes it cheap in terms of the premium drones, expensive for just about everything else I buy. But if you order now, it sounds like it's about a year before you're going to get this. In fact, when they sent out the email to order these, 
I ordered it probably 10 minutes after the email came out, you know, which I thought was pretty quick. And I'm just getting my drone now. Again, end of December. I thought I was going to get mine end of November. It's taking them a little while to kind of manufacture. So that's not a big deal. So I get that people need to be patient. But if you want these right now, I'd put your order in. Even if you're thinking about it, I think you have to put a $100 deposit down. You know, I just think there's a lot of appetite for it and super, super innovative. And I think it's actually a really good deal. Of course, if you need another drone right away, there are plenty of other ones out there. And as far as I can tell, some of the Mavics and things like that are also really, really awesome. They have a really small one. I think the Mavic Mini or something like that. And a buddy of mine has a Mavic and uh, I was trying that out and that really is what sold me on being able to use a drone, you know, and get a drone and get some awesome shots and kind of explore and see some angles of stuff that you would never otherwise see. I'll put a link to some other drones as well as to Skydio in the description below if you want to pick one of these up. Peter Von Panda, out!